What's up everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mortal Shell. If you're not familiar, Mortal Shell is a brand new Souls-like action RPG that's being developed by Cold Symmetry. They're a small team of industry veterans who are huge fans of Souls-like games, and Mortal Shell is apparently their love letter to the genre. Now, you can't really talk about a new Souls-like game without mentioning Dark Souls. Sure, there are plenty of similarities here, but after completing the beta and spending some time experimenting with the game's mechanics, I definitely think that Mortal Shell brings enough to the table to stand out in its own right. Unlike your typical Souls-like experience, there are no selectable classes in Mortal Shell. You start out as an empty vessel with 1 HP and no special abilities. But as you play through the game, you'll find new shells which power you up immensely and each offer their own unique mechanics, stats, and playstyles. If your HP reaches zero while you're inside of a shell, instead of dying, you get kicked out of the shell and are given a second opportunity to jump back in and keep fighting. It's kind of similar to the self-revive ability in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, except if you get hit while outside of your shell, you really do die and you have to start over. As you would expect from any good Souls-like game, Mortal Shell forces you to keep your eyes on your health and stamina gauges. But in addition to those two, there's also something called Resolve that you'll have to pay attention to. Now, Resolve is essentially Mortal Shell's take on mana, or MP. The amount of Resolve you have built up directly dictates which special abilities you'll be able to use during battle. The only abilities we have access to in the beta are tied to weapons, so it's still sort of unknown if you'll be able to wield any kind of actual magic, but if the weapon abilities are any indication, building up resolve is probably going to be one of your main priorities while playing. Mechanically, combat feels very satisfying and stays true to the Souls-like formula, but the twist with Mortal Shell is that you have no block. Instead, you have the ability to harden yourself and become 100% immune to damage for one hit. It's on a cooldown timer that lasts a few seconds, so you're completely vulnerable after you use it unless you have enough stamina left to dodge. And that's something that I actually think is a really refreshing take on a combat system that has been adapted and rehashed by so many other games before it. Pairing attacks is also incredibly useful because you can regain some health with a follow-up attack, which only makes the combat that much more satisfying. There's a diverse amount of enemy types in the beta and each of them fight very differently. But once you learn their attack patterns, it's much easier to take them down. It's definitely rewarding each time you survive an encounter, especially against the larger and more aggressive enemies. There are two boss fights that I had access to. One was more of a secret mid-boss that wasn't really too difficult to take down, and the other was the level boss, which was much harder and definitely more intimidating. And if this is what we have to expect as far as bosses go in the full game, I'm definitely looking forward to it. There will be a total of four shells available when the full game releases, but the beta only gave us access to two, Haros and Teal. Haros plays a lot like your average, well-balanced brawler. It keeps a good balance between health and stamina, and most of its skill tree upgrades revolve around keeping you alive. The second shell available in the beta is Teal. This one is my personal favorite because it plays more like a rogue type, and it really lets you go wild on enemies once you get the hang of it. Using Teal gives you an insane amount of stamina, but in turn, you have much less health and resolve than you get from Haros. We still don't know what the other shells will be or what they'll even be called, but if I had to guess, one of them is going to be a super super tanky build with a lot of health, and the other is probably going to be more based around resolve. In the beta, you can easily swap between shells at the abandoned chamber or by using effigies that you find from killing enemies. I'm not sure if it'll be this seamless when the full game releases, but it feels great having access to each shell whenever you need it. Instead of souls, Mortal Shell uses something called Tar. You can use it to upgrade different shell abilities by speaking with Janessa. She's sort of like Mortal Shell's version of a bonfire checkpoint, so I'm sure we'll probably be running into her a lot in the full game. The world of Mortal Shell isn't quite as big as you'd expect. The two areas that were in the beta were actually pretty linear and straightforward. There are a few branching paths that you can explore, but they all lead to the same destination. That said, the beta only gives you access to the first two areas of the game, so I'm sure there will be plenty of variety in terms of environments when the full game releases. Another thing that I find interesting about Mortal Shell is its unique take on items. It never gives you any details about items that you're unfamiliar with. 
For instance, you can find items like red and yellow mushrooms throughout the world. One of them heals you while the other poisons you, but you don't know which one does what until you use it for the first time. And the more you use an item, the more you'll learn about it and potentially unlock new effects. The yellow mushroom is obviously the poisonous one, but after you've eaten it a couple times, it starts giving you a reverse effect and it makes you immune to poison damage for a few minutes. The developers have said that a full playthrough of Mortal Shell should take anywhere between 15 to 20 hours, and that the game will retail for $29.99 when it releases on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox later this year. And after checking out the beta, I can safely say that I'm extremely looking forward to playing the full game when it releases later this year. But now I want to hear your thoughts about it. Have you heard of Mortal Shell before? Are you playing the beta? Do you think it has a chance to stand alongside other great Souls-like games like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro? Meet me down in the comments and let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks, and have a great day.